What is going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you guys through as I transform this 64 gigabyte model of the Steam Deck into something that's a whole lot more, even better than the 512 gigabyte model. And I'm gonna be doing all of that for less than $250, US dollars by the way. Now, as we all know, the Steam Deck is the most budget friendly handheld you can get on the market right now, at least in its class. I'm talking about something that pretty much is a PC. Now, some of you guys out there might be wondering if you should go for that 64 gigabyte model to save some money or just go for the 512 gigabyte model so you get that storage. Now, let me tell you right now, I've had the 512 gigabyte model for a while now, I'm talking over a year, and I just picked up this 64 gigabyte model. And after getting through all the upgrades, which I'll be walking you guys through in this video, this thing is now a beast. In short, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to enhance your experience with the 64 gigabyte model of the Steam Deck for a very affordable price. Now, with my 512 gigabyte model, the only difference is in the screen type. So this does not have the anti-glare screen and the other one has the anti-glare edge screen. And honestly, I didn't notice a major difference in the screen quality between the both of them. Now, if you wanna find out how I transform this thing for that price, then make sure to stick around throughout the video. Let's have some fun. So to begin, the first thing I did was unbox the new Steam Deck. As expected, there was a 45 watt USB-C charger, a carrying case, and the 64 gigabyte Steam Deck all sitting inside the box. Before jumping right into the SSD replacement process, I went through the usual quick setup just to confirm that it was in fact the 64 gigabyte model. And to be honest, I don't even understand how anyone can really use the 64 gigabyte model as is without updating or upgrading that storage. So in today's video, the first process is going to be changing or replacing the SSD that it comes with. So we're gonna be switching to a one terabyte SSD, which I picked up off AliExpress. To begin the SSD replacement process, I had to make sure that the battery level was below 25%, which is the safe thing to do. So this isn't the first time that I've replaced the SSD inside the Steam Deck. I've done the exact same thing with the 512 gigabyte Steam Deck model by swapping out that SSD for a two terabyte drive. Honestly, I don't really see how that 64 gigabyte is going to be useful for very long for most people. For example, games like Red Dead Redemption are a little over 100 gigabytes, which is way more than what you get with the 64 gigabyte model. So you need more storage or you'll have to put those on an SD card. One difference to note between using an SD card and switching out the internal SSD is that you'll get better performance from the SSD than you'll get from the SD card. So now that I swapped out the SSDs and now we have up to one terabyte of storage, I can now download games like Red Dead Redemption without having to worry about filling up the storage or not having enough storage for it in the first place. The next stage of the transformative process was adding some personalization to the body of the console. I did this by applying a skin and thumbstick caps I had received from JSOC, so it's a whole package and very affordable but it changes the entire look of the Steam Deck. You can pick up different styles, but what I've got is a simple bluish white color and a mix of carbon fiber for some parts of um, the body. For this process, the only thing that I needed was a heat gun to make some of the parts around the curves a lot softer and easier to apply. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you have one close by if you plan on applying a skin to your Steam Deck. By the time I was done applying the skin over the Steam Deck, I decided to take off the stickers along the grips because at this point I was going to add some accessories. So for that, I'll be using a very affordable accessories kit for the Steam Deck called the Mod Case Power Bank Kit from JSOX as well. 
Now, this kit is very budget friendly and I think it enhances the functionality of the Steam Deck in so many different ways. What you get is a protective case for the Steam Deck, a travel cover, and a power bank, a 20,000 milliamp per hour power bank. Now, the case has been made to fit the Steam Deck very well, so it works very well with it. The Steam Deck slides right into it and fits like a glove. The protective case uses a really grippy material around the grips, which is great for providing friction between the hands and the Steam Deck whenever you're playing. So once you have the case on there, you'll notice that on the back side, you can attach a stand. So that stand also comes with the mod case power bank kit, and it works really well because it's very minimal, and it also adds very negligible weights to the entire setup. So you can have it on there all the time, and you wouldn't even know that it's there. So it's really cool to have, and will make it easy to have the Steam Deck sit upright. Now in the back of the case, there's also an attachment piece for added modular pieces to the case. So these different pieces can be picked up from JSOX, but with the power bank kit, you get a strap that you can attach to the back and then attach the power bank to the back of the Steam Deck. So that makes it almost a mobile kit. Beware that it's going to have a little bit more weight to it than without the battery. But you can also use the power bank without strapping into the back of the Steam Deck by using the provided extra long USB-C cable. That will give you access to additional battery life without the additional weight. Either way, now you have extra battery because you'll notice quickly as soon as you get one of these devices that battery life is one of the biggest problems with using them. The travel cover that comes with the power bank kit is made of hard shell, so it's pretty tough on the outside and it's got some EVA foam on the opposite side to uh, provide some cushion between the case and the Steam Deck screen. So it fits very snugly alongside the protective case, so it's been designed to work so well with it and it almost feels like a soft close whenever you connect them together. The travel cover will come in very handy for just transporting the Steam Deck anywhere around the house or anywhere in general, something that's really light without having to throw your entire Steam Deck into a bag. So now that we're done with the SSD storage upgrade as well as the aesthetic upgrade of the Steam Deck, all that's left is to provide a way to carry it around, to transport the Steam Deck as well as all of its different accessories around. So for that, we're going to be using the JSOX shoulder bag, which I think is very affordable and provides all the necessary storage and space that you'll need for the Steam Deck as well as the accessories. The bag has two main compartments and on one side you can store the Steam Deck. There's a cutout designed specifically for the Steam Deck so it'll fit there perfectly. And on the other side you can store things like cables in the mesh pocket as well as the power bank in some of the pockets that have been cut out and set up in there. On the outside of the bag, there's one extra storage. So this is not a large one, but it's great for storing small items like your phone or a wallet. I feel like this shoulder bag is a big upgrade from what you're sent with the Steam Deck. So you have more pockets to store different things, you have better protection, and it's a lot more stylish. So it's going to be a good way to transport the Steam Deck and the accessories we've talked about, as well as other accessories that you may be thinking about. So that's pretty much everything I'll be doing in today's video to transform the 64GB Steam Deck for under $250. When you add the total cost of all the accessories and all the upgrades that we've done in today's video, as well as the cost of the Steam Deck itself, you'll notice it's still below the highest tier model, which is amazing because you get a lot more for a lot less. About a year ago, I picked up the 512GB Steam Deck model. And honestly, I look back and I wish I'd picked up the 64 gigabyte Steam Deck model and then did the upgrades after. I certainly would have got a lot more back for my buck, which would have been more ideal. That's pretty much everything I've got for you guys in this video. As you can see, the Steam Deck is operating very well under normal conditions with all these different upgrades. The SSD worked great, no issues at all with the installation process or anything at all. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this transformative process as well as what you guys have done to your 64 GB Steam Deck models or just your Steam Decks in general. That's it for this one. I hope you guys had fun watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. If not, thank you for watching. It's Tommy and I'm out, y'all.